Howdy there, DBF family. Now, if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you'll recognize this project that's sitting up on the table. This is the Rat Rod Wagon Project that we built here in the garage uh, a couple months ago. And uh, it had some problems when we got done with it. The biggest problem is the rear axle is too far forward and it didn't transfer enough weight to the front axle and it had a hard time steering. Other than that, this thing turned out pretty flawless. It runs remarkably well. Actually has more power than it probably needs, but we're gonna tweak on that just a little bit too. So, first thing on the agenda in this video is I'm gonna disassemble this entire thing because this rear axle needs to go that away about yay far. I don't know. We're gonna kind of shoot at the hip, kind of like we do. Anyways, we're gonna move this thing back so it transfers my body weight and the weight of the machine forward so we can actually turn this thing and have a little bit more control. Dun, 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 dun. One of the biggest hurdles on this project of moving the rear axle back is everything that is underneath the seat and underneath this basically this uh, I don't know what you would call that floor pan maybe has all of the electronics underneath it. I've got to figure out how to move this rear axle back where all of the ignition, the key switch, the uh, push start button and the switch for the fuel pump and keeping in mind that for performance mods, I still need to have room for more electrical. I've tried putting weight in the front of this thing and it's just, I, I, I've gone through every scenario I can think of on not moving this rear axle, basically to not ruin the looks of the front end of it. I really like the way the front end is. So what I came up with was I have to move the rear axle back. So this thing is gonna have to be blown completely apart, more or less, to access the frame to move this thing back. So we're gonna do a little bit of a time lapse, pull the motor, pull all the junk underneath it out and uh, get the tub off of it and we'll go from there. Was the easy part. I just got to take that and go. Doot. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Got to figure out a plan, don't I? What's up, Jetty? Well, you got a plan yet? Working on one? <laughs> I know this has to go that way. I do have a plan ish up here. Kinda I don't know. Say hi Jed. Hello. <laughs> we got a plan, I think. Let me show you what we got going on. Jed Jed, do you wanna be the Vanna White and show us what we're doing here? There it is. <laughs> so what our plan is is we are actually gonna cut on that line there that line there and then we're going to come back here cut through that weld cut through that weld and then cut here and we're going to leave this back half 
pretty much assembled and we figured 10 inches farther back is where the center axle needs to be so we will cut that out cut us some uh, 10 inch sleeves basically and we will internally sleeve it and that should do it hopefully I don't know what do you think I think it'll work I yeah. think it will be strong enough. I think it's gonna be plenty strong so we're gonna get the old cutting tools out and go cut it and if it doesn't work we'll do something different this is why i'm not a good carpenter because i can't do this with wood if it doesn't work i can't glue wood back together hey like that uh their sawzall blade that's a damn good one yeah not even messed up did you tell them what uh what brand it is and what it stands for el Dia uh, diablo yeah fighting chicken <laughs> fighting chicken spanish for fighting chicken What'd you do? Oh, perfect. Right there. Okay. I do gotta say one thing though. This was not on purpose today. See the sweater I'm wearing today? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he's wearing the same thing just in the t-shirt back. I swear that was not on purpose. I didn't like calling last night and be like, hey dude, wear your, wear your fat head shirt tomorrow. I'm gonna wear my sweater. We can be twinners. Yeah, matching. We didn't do that on purpose, I promise. <laughs> That's funny. What you got going on here? I got that one, only plug welds there. That one only plug weld. Cause that'll just be a butt up against here well, right so we don't need a plug well right so we've gone ahead and we've drilled out the original frame got the sleeves inside the original frame we're going to take and tack weld these in here so when we put the extensions on these don't go inside of the original frame and then just work our way out until we get to here sound like a plan to you jedediah yeah. Okay. Let's very do. high tech. Oh yeah, yeah. Hit things with a hammer till it fits, and then if it doesn't, we'll cut it up and do it again. I like it. Buzz box fired up, and do some bzz bzz welding on this thing for a second. I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm getting mad at myself. Are you? I'm getting excited. Yeah. I marry you, frame pieces. Look at you go! It's moving! Something's happening. Don't whack me in the face! <laughs> what if I whack him in the face? There's a chance we're willing to take. Jed myself got the old back half of this thing just stretched out 10 inches like we had planned and it actually went better than I expected. Everything lined up really good. The chassis still true and square and you know, love it when a plan comes together I guess. So the next step is I'm going to fire up the old TIG welder some night after work this week and uh, get it finished, welded up, you know, whatever. And then uh, we'll set the old tub on it and trim the access holes for the brake bracket and the uh, chain to roll through. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to finish out the back end of this thing. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Been a little 
time, TIG weld the frame all back together and it's one solid piece again. So now I need your guys' help. Here's a problem I have. Now that I've extended the frame, I need to know whether to put the tub like so and I'll have to cut the front of the tub out and the motor will actually hang out of the front of the tub and I'm a little reluctant to do that. Here come the dogs. A little reluctant to do that because I don't want to really mess the front of this tub up. Do I put the tub to follow the frame back now that it's longer or do I move the tub back where it was, kind of like so, and actually build a bed for the back of this thing? Put down in the comments whether or not I should leave the tub forward and build basically a truck bed, an old school hot rod truck bed for the back of it, or should I just move the tub back like it was and cut the front of the tub out so the motor sticks out of it? I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave the tub where it was and build kind of a cool hot rod bed for it. You guys let me know. Oh, one more thing. Remember how I told you we was going to do some performance mods on this thing this go around? Check this out. <laughs> Look how cute that little bugger is. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to turbocharge this thing. Why? Why not? I think it'll be cool. So, uh, make sure you guys are liked and subscribed to this channel because I don't think you're going to want to miss. It's going to be fun to see what a Chinese pit bike motor will do with a little bit of boost going through it. <laughs> Just going to take a nap right here. <laughs>